Today, for our math strategies video, we're going to be adding and subtracting decimals through the hundreds. We will be looking, we'll be using models such as place value charts, number lines, and based on models to visually understand what we're doing when we're adding and subtracting decimals. We will also be estimating um, to check our answer for reasonableness. So let's go ahead and get started today. Our problem is 13 and 25 hundredths plus 12 and 2 tenths. Before we actually add this up to get the actual answer, we're gonna estimate. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first number. 13 and 25 hundredths is close to, it's close to 13, okay? And then I wanna look at 12 and 2 tenths. I know that's close to 12. So I know that 13 plus 12 will give us about 25. So when I get my final answer, I should have about 25 here, okay? All right, so now let's find our actual answer here. So one way we can figure this out is we can use a place value chart. Um, in this problem, it's very important to line up your place values. As you can see, our first number has four digits and our second number has three digits. And we don't wanna just line everything up to the right like we have with multiplication. So this is very important when you're adding and subtracting that we're lining up our place values. So I'm just going to create a chart here. Okay, and then I'm going to have my tenths place and I have my hundredths place. Okay, so now I'm going to write in my first number, which would be 13 and 25 hundredths. And now I'm going to write in my second number which is going to be 12 and 2 tenths. Now, we can add a zero or a placeholder here if we want to, to the hundred spot. Um, because we know that 20 hundredths is the same as 2 tenths. If that helps, we can add that there. And so from here, we can add to get our answer. Okay, so of course, I have my decimal here, which is important. There we go. All right, so I look at here and I see our number is 25 and 45 hundreds, which is very close to our estimate of 25. So it seems like our answer is reasonable. So another way that we can solve this is thinking about even a number line. Okay. And so we'll put our 13 and 25 hundredths on here. And I'm gonna make a jump of 12, which is my whole number. And I'm running out of space here, but it's just another way we could do it, 12. And so when I just make the jump of 12, I'm gonna get 25 and 2,500. So I know I still need to make one more jump and that's that decimal of two tenths. And so when I make that jump of two tenths, I should get 25 and 45 hundredths, okay. So now we're going to switch gears a little bit, take the same problem, but subtract using the same numbers. So again, um, if we look at 13 and 25 hundredths and subtract it by 12 and 2 tenths, let's go ahead and estimate to find our answer. Well, we already determined that the first number is close to 13 and our second number is close to 12. So we know that 13 minus 12 is 1. So we are really looking for um, the answer of one here, or about one, in order for our answer to be reasonable. So this time we're gonna look at place value blocks. And you're probably wondering why I have hundreds blocks here, but I don't have a single hundred in my problem. Sometimes manipulatives can be used in different ways. And in this case, I'm using a hundreds block, and it's gonna represent one, one whole. And I'm gonna have um, the tens represent the tenths place. And of course, I'm gonna have my one unit cube represent my hundredths place. And it will work out because 10 tenths would equal one whole and 100 hundredths would equal one whole. So we may need to look at these a little bit differently, but again, this is another way that you can look at subtracting decimals. So I'm gonna go ahead and start Color. Okay, so all I'm going to do here is I'm going to start marking out 12 holes. So one, two, three. Okay, and 
and then I'm going to mark out two tenths. And that leaves me with one and Five hundredths. So my answer is one and five hundredths. And when I look back up at my estimate, with my estimate being one, my answer is reasonable. So these are some strategies to add and subtract decimals to the hundredths. Don't forget to estimate to check your answer for reasonableness.